Hey guys, today we're going to be building a simple Home Assistant dashboard that will look really good on your mobile device. We're going to be doing this step by step and we're also going to be only using native Home Assistant cards. If you're looking to install and use Home Assistant for the first time, then I'd recommend that you check the link in the description down below. You'll see my free Home Assistant course. For those of you that already have Home Assistant and want to build a dashboard, let's get straight into it. So on the left hand side of the screen, you will see the Home Assistant dashboard that we're going to be designing. I've also got some other options at the bottom to show you the differences between some of the cards. On the right hand side, we're going to be actually building the dashboard together step by step. First thing to do is to go to settings and go to dashboards and you can click on the add dashboard button. Start with new dashboard from scratch and give your dashboard a name. You're just going to call it mobile. You can decide if this is going to be an admin only and you can decide to show in the uh, sidebar. So I've got this toggle done, so I'm gonna click on create. And now this is the sidebar, you should be able to see it over here, mobile with its new icon. So if we click on it, we can see it's completely empty. At this stage, we need to click on this pencil and we can edit. So we can change a couple of things. We could change, uh, we can pencil and change the name of the title of this dashboard. We can change the uh, view, so it's views are basically like tabs uh, so you can add a view here and then you can add cards so we're not going to do anything we're just going to use one view for today's video so we're trying to keep it very simple for anyone getting what that one that's to get a dashboard done quickly so the first thing we're going to be building is this kitchen lights uh, component it has three lights as you can see then we're going to build this weather block underneath and then we're going to complete it with these tiles over here and I'm going to show you how you can actually um, have tiles slightly shaped differently. So I'll guide you through that. So the first thing we need to do is to create add an horizontal stack. So click on add card. You can search for it. Just put the H in and you'll get horizontal stack and click on horizontal stack. So horizontal stacks basically are a way to ensure that your cards are horizontal, right? as you can see over here. I'm going to be using tile cards a lot in this video. Search for tile and then you can see we have our first tile card. Now to add multiple cards, so we need three cards, one, two and three. So you can go ahead and add them right now and you just have to do add tile each time. So now we have all three. If I save this, you can see that uh, we have something similar to this. Uh, but we are missing our title. So we want to add this kitchen lights title over here. Now let's go to the pencil again if you close edit mode. And to close edit mode, you can just click on done and it goes into read only mode, right? So this is how you configure it. And you've got this nice edit button over here to open up the menu box again. Now I want you to go to show code editor and you'll see uh, this code over here. Now try not to change too much if you're not familiar. This is YAML. Um, the uh, coding or configuration language that Home Assistant uses a lot. Here you can just type in title and then just put a title over here. So for example, we're gonna put in kitchen lights and you can see the preview underneath. If you notice at the beginning when we were uh, typing in title, it actually said that uh, this is not available in the UI. So if I go into visual editor, there is no way that I can edit this. Uh, so this is a little bit of a hack for you. So once you've saved it, now I'm not going to bore you by changing the tiles itself, but I'm going to show you how you do that. In the entity tab, you over here just basically search for the entity. So you search for the light. Now I'm going to pick the same one. So just to give you an example, I can save it and this is how it looks by default. So there's a couple of differences as you, as you uh, might notice. First of all, it's uh, not uh, basically horizontal or squared. Now, if you think on a mobile device, you want everything to be uh, basically skinny tall in a way. So if I edit this and I go to appearance, I can move this to vertical. Oops, I flipped the wrong one. Sorry. So, so we need to switch vertical on all of them. So this one and then tab three and this one over here. So if we save it now, you can see that this is looking very much like this. There's a couple of things we want to change. First of all, the status. I really don't need the status uh, here. So you see it says off, but it's clear it's off because I'll show you if you turn it on, it changes color. So the fact that it says on and off is a bit of pointless and a waste of precious real estate, especially on a mobile. 
So what I would do is I would remove this. You basically remove this by going into appearance and then uh, there's like hide state, which is this toggle, you turn it on and now the state disappears. There's one more thing to do, the name of the entity. So we'll go back into edit and then over here, you can actually either remove the name entirely if you want to buy it in like a blank space. So have something like this, but it looks a bit weird in my opinion, but I like to have a name here. But just, you know, for consistency, we add in this counter in, save and done. And now you can see that this pretty much looks the same. Obviously it's just stretched out more or less. So now I'm just gonna do the exact same procedure for these three other tabs. Now I'm gonna show you a very fast way to do this without doing it manually because I already got it done in here. I can edit and I can show code editor. Now you can't see this properly, but if I stretch it out a bit, you can see it all. And I'll just do uh, com Command A or Control A, so select all. I do copy and go over here, edit, edit, show code editor, and then I can paste in uh, save and then you can see now we've got an exact replica. So the next part we're going to be working on is the weather. If you're getting value out of this video remember to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below how you would improve this dashboard design. Let me know. All right jolly good so we the next part you could keep using horizontal stacks if you want to but I'm going to show you a slightly different way of, of achieving a similar uh, effect. You can use grid cards Grid cards is pretty good when you start having more than just horizontals and you are having like uh, vertical or horizontal stacks in a bit like you can see in this block. This, for example, you can only you can achieve this easily really with a grid. A couple of things with the grid card, I'll show you how it works. So we're going to be adding two tiles again and we go tile one and tile two. Tile one this time is going to be a weather tile. Tile two is going to be a uh, climate and my nest climate. We've added them both in. Now we need to change this columns. So we need to put the columns as uh, two columns. Uh, render that square, I always remove it. And if we save this, we can see we have something that looks quite nice. You see here, we've got like the controls, which for me is pretty cool. So I'll show you how to do that. So go into edit mode and go on tile number two, which is the one I've used for the nest. So this one over here, and we can click on features and we can add a feature. Now we can add something called like target temperature. And you can see now that appears at the bottom. Now this also makes this little bit have a blank space because they need to be in alignment. Now, to be honest, this looks super great. The weather part, like you can see this looks a lot better. You have that like little cloud. So how do we get to this? So if we add another card and we just add like a weather card, here we go, weather forecast card. And um, so we're using this entity, the open weather map, and we show an hourly configuration and you can see, oh look, we have a lot of things going on over here. So I'm gonna show you how you can shuffle the order of cards that you've already created. If you go left, left, now you see this will be the first one. You can remove now the second one, which was our previous version using tile. Now you can see that they're sort of in line, but this looks quite ugly because there's a massive gap with the nest. So what I would do here is I would just put show only uh, either current weather or forecast, up to you. So I can put like current weather, save it, and now it does look uh, slightly better. What we need to do now is, is just change the nest, I believe, put it appearance as vertical. And now it should look the way I want it to look. And you can see now we have this all together. Now, remember, I, want, I wanted to create personally a bit of text. You don't have to do this. You can have it with no text and you probably can cram more things in the dashboard. Um, but I'll show you how to add the title. So you can add the title over here, uh, something like weather. And here we go. So in this example of grid cards, you don't need to add it in um, YAML. You can just do it simply in the user interface. This is as of the version that I'm using for the recording. So the third part of the video, before we get to the third part of the video, I just wanted to show you like, this is what a climate card looks like. In my opinion, this is like quite burdensome. It's quite big. So I've preferred using the smaller card just to keep it that it fits in one screen when I'm 
watching it, looking at it on my mobile. So the third part is this uh, grid selection over here. This is where it becomes a little bit more complex. So let's add card, it's gone grid. And here we're gonna add a couple of more. So now that you've got an idea of how these are generated, I'm gonna expand on my current dashboard. I'm gonna go in edit mode and I'm gonna walk you through how you would set this up yourself. And then I'm gonna just point out a couple of things. There, you can make some of the cards smaller, some of the cards bigger uh, in this way. So you can see that I've put, for example, the Apple TV and we've got the vacuum cleaner and I've put these cards as bigger cards. I've put this one, which is very important for me, understanding if the fridge door is open or not. We have other uh, sensors going on. So I mainly use this for sensors and the bigger cards, I've reserved them for things that I want to click on and add three columns, right? So you've got one, two, three. That's why we've got three columns here. Title, there is no title, but you can add the title in as I showed you earlier. Rendered as squares will be really ugly. Uh, I always take it off so that in that way, these sort of uh, render nicely. And then I've been adding basically a, a bunch of tile cards. So this first one is a tile card with my kitchen Sonos beam so I can like do some uh, music control. And actually I've been tidying it up, putting a nice icon, removing the name. State I think I've kept it in just because like, it fills up a bit of space and doesn't look empty. This one is the same thing with the kitchen motion detection. And the third one is the patio door opening, as you can see, third one over here. Pretty straightforward. I've changed, I think, the icon on this. I've put this icon over here. The fourth one is the vacuum cleaner. And now the fifth one, which is I wanted to talk to you about, as you can see, this block over here is actually composed of two cards. Um, and this is a little bit of a trick you can do. You can do a grid in a grid. So if you want to have a situation where you have two cards in the space of one or four cards in the space of one, then you can do it this way. So you can add a grid and you just do that, uh, for example, like I did in position five. And I add it as one column because this is one column. It's stacked. If we have two columns, I'll show you how it look. It will look like this. Uh, which would look a bit weird to be honest. One column looks pretty good. I take the squared out so it look it neats and it, and it uh, tucks in. As you can see, this one tucks in quite nicely. And I've put uh, another tile fridge door opening. And the second one is another tile just with the uh, kitchen uh, presence light, with the illuminance of the kitchen. So now I've popped up the mobile uh, version on the Home Assistant app, and you can see this is the actual. Uh, where you can control it so you can see i can simply tap i can get the full uh, picture where i can change the, the temperature but i can also do it with the little digits over here i can check weather predictions and everything so that's pretty cool i can obviously control all the lights so this is the version that we created during this video here is the complete version and you, you find that from my device it just cuts off uh, after the vacuum cleaner and that last grid that i showed you uh, but if you had more space, you could probably fit in more stuff. But just for as a comparison, I'm showing you how big this thermostat card is. If you don't make any, like don't put it in a grid or you're trying to compact it down, how big and how much space you will actually use. And it's basically going to take it up half of your screen just to change the temperature, which you probably won't do that frequently anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this design and it inspired you to make your own designs. If you want to look at other designs I made in the past, I'll link a video here and hope you enjoyed it. This is Geo from Smart Home Makers. Uh, link in the description below if you're new to Home Assistant and if you're actually interested, take it to the next level and you want to join the uh, Lifetime Bundle. So that's my course membership where you get access to all of the videos that will teach you everything that I know about Smart Home. Link in the description down below. See you in the next one. Ciao.